This is Jordan's vision. Pull up a seat and kick up your feet. Welcome, 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 guys. It's time to watch another episode of Only Murders in the Building. Uh, so where are we right now? So uh, so we got Charles uh, starring in a reboot of Brazos, uh, where he's playing Uncle Brazos. We didn't really get a lot into that in the last episode. Uh, Oliver, meanwhile, is talking to Amy Schumer about uh, producing a series about the first season uh, where she wants to play Jan, which uh, when she met Charles, that's why she was kind of all over him. Uh, it was her acting, auditioning for Jan type of thing. Mabel, meanwhile, has become friends with an art gallery owner named Alice, uh, played by Cara Delevingne, and they seem to be perhaps more than friends. We'll see. Uh, there was a little bit of a kiss in the last episode there. Um, meanwhile, uh, the painting that vanished from Bunny's room, uh, Savage, which was a painting of Charles's father, painted by Rose Cooper, a uh, an artist that uh, Charles' father had an affair with, which, by the way, uh, Charles' father in a flashback was shown being arrested uh, potentially for the disappearance of Rose Cooper. It didn't really get into that, uh, but uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, uh, the painting, meanwhile, getting back to that thought, uh, you know, it appeared in Charles's room, uh, and then Charles left it by the dumpster, and then Amy Schumer picked it up, and it was hanging in her room. Uh, Uma found it there and uh, looked at the back and said, this is a fake, this is not the original. So uh, the original painting is still out there somewhere. So uh, I'm sure we'll uh, find out about that. So... Uh, yeah, we're getting into episode three now, so uh, without further ado, let's watch it. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and don't forget, reacting to art is sharing art. Channels like these benefit everyone from the viewers all the way up to the original creators themselves. Also, a reminder, spoilers are likely, so if you haven't seen this episode yet and would like to, please feel free to click off and take care of that first. I'll be here when you get back, but for those of you who are sticking with me, pull up a seat, kick up your feet, and let's watch Only Murders in the Building Season 2, Episode 3, which is titled, The Last Day of Bunny Folger. Let's find out what happened on that last day. Here we go. Why don't you ask these three? They're the ones that probably did it. No, no. We were framed. <laughs> we're persons of interest. Yeah. It's very different. So yeah, it's different. Bunny had a bird? Yeah, the bird. I forgot about that, too. Stuff it up here, Oliver has the bird now. I will not let Bunny's demise adversely affect the building. I'm in charge now. And a new era... Begins. Yeah, we gotta see what she's Don't about. I know who did it. Then by all means, tell us, Birdie. The perfect crime? Oh, so very nearly. But there's one thing the killer did not anticipate. Oh, yeah, the bird. Who killed Bunny Folger? Fuck off, Oliver. No, <laughs> it's just perfect that Bunny had a pet as obnoxious as she was. Hey, oh, that's man. my baby half-sister you're talking about. How does yeah, a bird consent to being recorded? Unprotected potential sex could have resulted in a half-sister I never knew until it was too late. Are you done? Please say wow. yes. Wow. Yes. Great. No, I kissed Bunny on the lips. Oh, no. What? Yeah, it was at a Christmas party, and we were saying goodbye, and we were just going to kiss each other on the cheeks, but we missed, and we were... Oh, uh, one of those. Lips. Can you deal with this, please? Yeah, sure. Oliver's kind of disgusted. All right, we have two options here. A little Sunday bit of Luke and Leia action going on. Who did it? Who did it? God, you are the most difficult animal I have ever directed. And I did a production of The Elephant Actors, Man, right? The elephant. Oliver, have you tried talking to her as if you were Bunny? Give it a try. What the fuck happened to me, huh? <laughs> that was a terrible Bunny. The key to a good <laughs> Bunny is... Mrs. Gambolini, why the fuck am I dead? No, no, that's dreadful. This won't take long unless you make it take long. <laughs> this won't take long. It's a bunny off. If, you if you're a murderer, stop murdering. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she actually said that. Bunny was killed with a knitting needle and a still missing knife. Her yeah, no one's found the knife yet. Were 14 and savage. She got notes threatening yeah, her. Yeah, so what's the 14 mean? Dad's Jiminy sack or else. Yeah, and where is the original? My dad's what? <laughs> His Jiminy sack. Did I just make that up? Hey. You might have. From March 12th, the day that Bunny died. Receipts from what? What will your last day on Earth be like? It's a good question. Will it be like any other? Or will it point to it being your time? I guess that depends. We hope. And please, dear God, not the subway. Can't have the subway Wake again. Up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Bunny. Wake up. Shut up. I thought it might have been the bird seeing her dead, but no, it's just her waking up that morning. I can't believe this is my last day. Does she actually know it's her last day, or is that flashback talk? 
as board president. Ah, oh, as board president. Okay. So she's stepping down. All the right, the last day. Get rid of all the gifted and talented programs in our schools. He wants our kids stupid. This is some radio show. It is not the same New York City I grew up in. That's for sure. I don't know if this is important or not, or if it's just something she's listening to. Oh. Same circus, <laughs> different clowns. Fire Dolan. Oh, jeez. You said it. She's a Knicks fan. Years. No, she warned me that part of the job would be dealing with pests. What she didn't say was, the tenants were the pests. Aw, oh, man. Of course I'm kidding. No, you're not. Serving you. It's been one of the great honors. Of my She's actually sad to leave. Wow. I'm not going to let those fuckers see me cry. Oh, you'd hate that. They're going to see you die instead. Good morning, Bunny. You watched the game last night? Yeah, why do you think I'm in a bad mood? Ooh. Sports fans, right? <laughs> oh man, I remember when Jeremy Lin was a raptor. <laughs> You're as useless as tits on a nun. Sorry, I'm eating cake. And I'm still president of this place for another few hours. There's still time to replace you, you know. Yeah, yeah I know. A little last-minute pardon or unpardon. I've been looking at a spot in Boca. Turns out there are places on the planet without winter. You don't say. And I immediately identify the problem. Oh. I said, Mabel, the ductwork around the downflow furnace has been tampered with. Quick. Talking put about the, the murder. Damper. I just remember you saying thing a lot. Like, put the thing on the thing and then the thing and the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's an Oliver thing. Charles, she fired. Bang. The bullet hit me. No. Hit near me. And then I dodged, and then I knocked the gun from her grasp. And then Mabel Bunny's just watching this with hate in her eyes. Rule 5.05. .05. No gatherings of more than 12 in a communal area without the approval of the board. May we have your approval? No. Is that an open flame? Come She's on, still presidenting. Almost for a while I thought you were the killer. Because Tim was behind on his building fees, and I distrust women in positions of power. No, no. Oh, man. I mean, it's not the best way to get money from him. Commercial sales are prohibited from the Arconia without a board-issued permit. Non-compliance oh, will result in a public flogging and a fine of $20. The rule is written in 1912. We should update that. I don't yeah. know. I like the floggings. Flogging. She would like the floggings. They're going to be your problem tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll keep giving them hell. Look forward to it. Well, these are for outside the elevator bank. I saw the ones there are dead. Yeah, she knows. The bulb in the fountain needs to be replaced. I'll tell Mr. Torres. She's done her homework. Ah. Acupressure. Midwife says pushing here helps. Pregnancy ankles. Try anything Not that I'd know, way. but. I'm going to pop this baby out and shove it right to my chest without breaking stride. Mm -hmm. Come on, eject. Can't just give birth by saying eject. He's a compulsive liar. He'll talk about touring in Iraq, but it was just with his band. Not really a lie, it's more of a deception. Rotates the fetus, stimulates contractions. Don't have it here. Yeah, I might want to go somewhere else for that. Break. Mop is in the window closet, second door from the stairs. I know. Expect her to clean it up herself? Aren't you coming? No. I've got my things to do. I'll see you at the board meeting. Yeah. Got to do some bunny stuff. I have a cousin in Tallahassee. And? Yeah. Hey, he sweats a lot. He's got a fungus in his armpits he can't get rid of. Ugh. You know, I have a key. Maybe I'll go into your place and wear all your stuff. Oh, jeez. She would do that. Oh. Who is it? Hello. Oh, it's you. No, I do not want to talk about the painting. What about the painting? That might be our killer. Welcome, Bonnie. How are you today? Yeah, hmm? Same old. As in, I'm the same old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good line. Another waiter took my shift yesterday and said you were with someone. Oh, Ooh. No, not coming. And not my friend. Wonder if that's the same person. Seriously, Dad, it's not a big deal. What are you talking about? It's a huge deal. Uh, my own son directing? Yeah, a play at my kid's school. Just the person that she doesn't want to see. Can I tell you are going to be a natural because it's in your blood, buddy. I thought he was a vet. He's moving to directing? Bunny. Bunny and I, we're lifers. It's probably going to be buried in the Arconia. And on hot days, the whole building will be able to smell you. 
Aww. Anyway, I, I, I should be going. Uh, I'm celebrating with Charles and Mabel. You know, since we solved the Tim Kono case. <laughs> Remember that little thing that we solved? What the fuck does she know about that book? She's an actual witch, that's why. Can't she? Wouldn't be surprised. I went over 20%. Ooh. Looks like a big fat tip. Oh, thank you. And make me a promise. Don't let yourself only love one thing. Ah. Because if you only love one thing, and then that one thing goes away, well, then you're left with nothing. And Are we seeing sucks. a softer side of Bunny here? Are you asking for more iced tea? Oh, uh, and he doesn't get it. He hears me. Or he does. <laughs> Hold it! She won't do it. Ah, he got in just in time. She wouldn't have done it. Hey, Bunny. All that looks good. Yeah. Board meeting snacks. Uh oh. <sighs> Board president should fix that. I feel a slight breeze. That means oxygen is flying. Come on. Okay. Bunny, you're a badass. And I thought I was a cranky old bitch. Uh, Amazing how you can see a different side of someone. Maybe a cranky old bitch, but she knows how to fix an elevator. What would we do without you? I was afraid Charles's nose might spring a leak again. You know what I just realized? I fucking hate the heat. So you're not going to Florida? Surprise! Surprise! Oh. <laughs> it's over. Don't worry. You get a hat too. You're done. Last thing she wanted. <laughs> yeah, I told him it was too much. Pass the buck, Howard. Well, how so, Amy Schumer started renovating the penthouse without all the necessary permits. Get her. But I heard it was very Z Gallery circa 92 in Sting's place, so anything's better than that. Doing you heard? It's your last day, Bunny. Yeah. Well, we also need to sort out the Kono apartment, and now Jan Bellows, too. Bunny. Yeah. A couple of vacant ones. Bunny, I'll handle all this at the next meeting. But we can do it now. It's your last day. Stop saying that. Uh, she wants to do it one more time. I've changed my mind. Yep. I'm not stepping down. Oh no. We had a plan. Today is your last day. This was your decision. Oh, I wonder. Howard, at November's meeting, you, wearing a fuchsia number, said... Don't quote me from the minutes. Howard. They're right there. <laughs> and I think Nina Lin is the person best equipped to carry on my legacy. And I still think that. But not yet. Doesn't want to go now. The Arconia still needs me. No, you still need it. But we can't afford to wait. The Arconia needs to be brought into the 21st century. A little bit of a disagreement here. The building needs to be preserved. Nina, we talked about this. Or were you just this might give Nina a little motive. Are Although I don't know if it makes sense that Nina was the person on the phone. That might have been someone else. You ungrateful, power-hungry, baby, bumpy bitch. That's everything you are, except baby bumpy. In front of every the only reason you're board president is because your mom was board president. Bunny's a nepo so baby. So you have no idea what this job takes. The pressures I endure on a daily basis. Evicting the people you hate. Let you I'm not gonna let you stop me. Last I'd hate to be the one who has to write all that down. You said you saw her at the Pickle Diner with a brochure of Florida. Was she going yeah. on the run? Was she meeting a lover in Florida? What? We missed the lover angle in season one. I'm reaching. And lastly, oh, yeah. she went back on her work. We need to find out more about Nina. Yeah. So, that gives us a new prime suspect. I think so. Did the pregnant protege make a pernicious power play? Wow, I am on fire. The alliteration on that I one. I really think that I've leveled up since Tim's murder. Getting good at this murder podcast thing. Got to clean up her own surprise party that she didn't want. Oh. Keep it down. Oh, oh. Bunny. Charles. Oh, Oliver. Hi. Um, if you're celebrating, you should have proper champagne. Oh. Something you got champagne champagne? Your, you saved the Arconia. <laughs> Maybe through sheer dumb luck, but the result was the same. After she tried to evict you. Thank you. Ah, Bunny, you're too kind. Oh, and we, we have a gift for you, too. Um, there you are. 
Your very own merch. Ah, uh, that's how she got the right the sweater. This is the last thing I want from you, assholes. You were wearing it though. Wow, Bunny. Yeah, you know it's actually quite fetching. Huh? I was at Woodstock, you know. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Uh. Wait. Do you think... Did she want to join? Maybe she did? Oh, God, guys. She's still out there. Oh, jeez. What do we do now? This is so awkward. And more than a little creepy. Just a bit. Oh, she's crying now. Yeah. Okay, so she knows how unpopular she is now. But we can't now. It's so out of pity. We have to. Uh. Hey, buddy. Oh. She gone now? What if she comes back, Lil? Maybe we J move this party somewhere more private. Oh, is that why they go upstairs? Yeah. We at Only Murders did not kill Bunny Folger. But there's a chance we could have saved her life with a simple act of kindness. Yeah, crazy to think about. You don't know that at the time, but... 2020 hindsight. Just got off the phone with Jimmy down at the docks. I know, I know who, did, who it. did it. I know who did it. That's what the bird heard, that's why the bird said it. Does anyone else feel like there's still a couple of loose ends? There's Just about to be. <laughs> Too late! I don't want to hang out. I want you to call yourself. Oh, uh, she thinks it's them. What the fuck do you want? No, let go uh -oh. of me. Let go of me. What are you doing? It's the killer. <laughs> the bird's mimicking the screams. So we haven't really seen this side of it yet. So Mabel's coming back. Be careful. And that's how the episode ends. Okay. So let's talk about that. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning into my reaction to season two, episode three of Only Murders in the Building. Uh, it kind of, it didn't really uh, go into a lot of the extra stuff. Like Amy Schumer wasn't in it. Uh, Alice wasn't in it. Uh, it was just basically a detailing of Bunny's last day, you know. And uh, we find out that you know she, it was her last day as board president, or as planned to be. Uh, she was planning on running away to Florida, and then she decided she wanted to change her mind, uh, which kind of upset Nina, who was going to take over. It kind of made Nina a suspect. Uh, I don't, I don't know though. Uh, if Nina's the one who did it. Like, she was very angry at Bunny, and, you know, she was, like, very adamant that the change was needed. Maybe she would have done something uh, to bring that about, but I don't know. It, I don't think it makes sense that she was the person on the phone with Bunny uh, who wanted to talk about the painting. Like, I think that was a different person. Yeah, it just goes through the day, and, you know, at the surprise party, she says, I know, I don't, I don't want to leave. I changed my mind. So it's basically uh, a recap of Bunny's last day, and... Our three amigos, I guess, uh, for lack of a better term, there are three amigos. Um, just kind of talking about it, gathering info. Uh, you know, they have the minutes from that meeting, and they know that Nina's their prime suspect now. So uh, it's early, though. So usually the first prime suspect, uh, you know, when you have 10 episodes to go through and you're only on number three, uh, may, may not be the right one. So maybe it's not Nina, but, you know, a lot, lot of show to go through still. So yeah, we'll probably get uh, into some of the extra stuff. We still haven't really gotten d into the Brazos reboot yet. But uh, I'm sure a lot of that stuff is coming. Maybe in the next episode we'll see. But uh, that is it for today. So uh, thank you guys for tuning into the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my sports vlogging channel, Jordan's Vlogs. And until next time, this is Jordan saying you can be productive sitting at home in your couch. All you need is a TV, a great catalog, and a vision. This has been Jordan's Vision. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.